Welcome back. Um, it's been a while. Finally got a new headset. So, here I am, like I promised. Uh, I'm playing The Long Dark today. Um, I did a test of it yesterday, got a feel for the game. It's been a while since I've played it. And, and when I did play it, it was uh, probably about six months to a year ago. And it was just a survival. Uh, there wasn't a lot to the game yet. It definitely wasn't this full game that it is now. Uh, I bought it on the Windows Store so that I could get the achievements for it. I do plan on attempting to 100% the game at least. Uh, I'm not making any promises. Some of the achievements are pretty ridiculous. Um, in my opinion, maybe the game is a little easier now. But let's get started with The Long Dark. Um, let me turn this down. I feel like I'm yelling. There we go. Options. Is everything ready? Feel the view. Alright, cool. Let's go. Let's play the campaign. We're going to start new. <coughs> so, for the first episode... Uh, for the first few episodes, I guess I'll read it. Uh, I'll read the text that is on screen that isn't read out loud already um, until I get comments asking me to stop or to continue doing it so I'm excited I don't know what the story I know the gist of the story we basically were with another doctor we crashed in the Canadian wilderness uh, and we That's me. Us. You? Whoever's playing the game. That's the main character. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. This game is really pretty. Uh, it's really fun. Semi-difficult to get a hold of, but once you do, um, it becomes a blast. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. No, no, no. Oh, please, please, please. And there's no blood. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So, we are bleeding out. Even though we weren't bleeding. I need to find some shelter from this wind. Shh, I know, I know. We need this. Gather as many supplies as we can along the way. Like that. Another cardboard box. Uh, you have to hold it. I forgot. Okay, okay. All right, we got some first aid. Study your treatments and learn to triage. There are many ways to die in the wilderness. Medical treatments, man-made, a harvested or harvested from the natural world, will save your life. Use a status screen to check on your health. Apply a treatment using the first aid radio menu. You can use also use treatments from your pack menu. Controls, basically check your controls if you don't know what to do. It could save your life. Which isn't false. It definitely could. If you don't know how to do something. Look it up. There's probably a control for it. There we go. Okay, now if I open this and click this, I can then apply the bandage. There we go. Now I want to make a campfire. So click here. Click on the campfire. Place. Now, we're going to start the fire. This takes a little while. And... Fire! Fire's life out here. Alright, so... That's all I have in me. Oh. Now I need to lay down before I fall down. 
day two. Today is all about exploring and gathering resources. So thirsty. Gotta be a way to melt some snow. Yes. This is basically talking about uh, how to check how cold you are, tired, hungry, thirsty. You can check it in the radial menu uh, for your quick stats. If you lose all of your condition, you die. Whoop. So if I... Stuck here a while. We don't have any food There's yet. So I need to find food. Also gonna start breaking down branches. Gonna need that firewood. I did it again. <laughs> Sweet, got some food. Let's eat that food. Uh, hold spacebar, food. There we go. Man, that radio menu is super useful. That was not in the game when I first played it. So, I want to talk about uh, the videos that I'm going to be releasing in the upcoming months slash, you know, foreseeable future. Um, I want to do a humble monthly bundle sort of series where I play the games from the humble monthly bundle to show them off uh, and to show what kind of games you get from the bundle. Um, so you know, I've been purchasing the monthly bundle for a while now. Unfortunately, by the time the videos come out, you won't be able to purchase that month's bundle. It'll be next month's purchase, because you don't know what you're getting, is the whole point. Um, but I think that'd be pretty fun. So, uh, I think I have everything. I think I've gathered all the boxes and sticks. Oh, here's some... Nope. Here's a stick. All right, let's go melt some water. Uh, let's and then drink, and then uh, boil it, and then drink it. So we're gonna have to use most of our sticks uh, to do this. Let's see. So we'll start. We'll start the fire with this. The book is not gonna give it very much uh, start time. Maybe I think 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Uh, it's in the minutes range, less than an hour for sure. I think. Less than, less than 20 minutes. Uh, I honestly don't know. I know it's a low number. But anyway, so what you want to do is you want to use the books to start the fires, and then you want to add the logs onto it. It doesn't really matter. If all you have is logs, go ahead and use a log. It doesn't really matter. You're going to get the full time for the log, I'm pretty sure. So now, yeah, 12 minutes. So now we're going to add uh, this. Add fuel. Gonna add all four of those. We have three hours of time now. We're going to click on the water. And I want to melt five liters. So, see our time going down? Oof. Uh, it's going to take up a lot of it. Okay, now we're going to purify the water because that takes less time. Purify four liters. Uh, you know what? We'll use that as an emergency. We can boil the water right now. We have the time. We won't be able to... Oh, yeah, we'll get we'll get all of it. Cool. And now we have five liters of drinkable water. Potable. Alright. Now I do this. Click on the water. Click on that. Drinking. It's that simple. Now we go to sleep. Oh, right. This. Disinfectant. Apply antiseptic. I can't wait to get to the meat of this game. This is still really the tutorial level. Even this next part, day three, I believe, is still really the tutorial. Because uh, I'm stuck up here on this cliff. So. We'll see. The weather's turning bad. I'm gonna need a good I wonder if I'm going to end up playing as both, actually. I need to gather as much firewood as I can today. That's the point of today. Uh, I mean, you guys have seen this already. 
I'm not gonna make you watch this again. It's literally just gonna be me grabbing all this stuff. If anything interesting happens, I'll cut back. Um, but it's just gonna be this. So I'll be back when I'm done gathering all this firewood. Oh, right. <laughs> I, uh, there are more crates, so I will be getting some items. Uh, actually, well, I may or may not cut this out. We'll see. See how much time I have. How long I want to make the video. Uh, <sighs> need to gather as much as I can. It's really not a lot. These crates are what are giving me the most time for my buck. I think I actually get something like 50 something uh, sticks. It's r I get a ridiculous amount of sticks. Oh, heck yeah, I don't even think I saw this one last time. Uh, I actually ended up playing, recording the... Eh, I mean, it was going to be a... It was possibly going to be the first episode, uh, but the recording just came out bad. Oh, it's nighttime. I should probably get back and stop breaking branches, because that takes time. I will grab that though, because it's important. Alright, let's go get this fire started and let's pump all of this wood into it. Start the fire. I believe with matches you have a 100% chance of starting the fire, so I'm not too worried. Uh, I have plenty of matches currently. So, what I'm thinking is the game is actually going to have you play as this character. Mackenzie, uh, and <coughs> after a few days, it's gonna you're gonna go to sleep, and you're gonna wake up as the other character on day one, and you're gonna have to play as the other character to find this character. That's what I'm gonna guess is gonna happen. Well, thank goodness for that. So now let's add all of the books, all of the wood. Um fire looks good. There we go. Warm up before I freeze to death. I still have thirty-two sticks. Nine hours of fuel time. That means I could get plenty of sleep tonight. Now I just have to warm up. Fire's pretty warm, 58 Celsius. That should last me through the night. So tired. Here we go. Day four. Thought that storm would never end. My fire is still going for another two hours. Sweet. Oops, sorry about that. I only slept for seven hours okay your ears are your best survival tool I have not played any of this this is all brand new to me pay attention to your surroundings and you might glean information that's important for your survival for example a murder of crows circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass or even a human corpse might be nearby interesting okay Stomach is eating itself. Yeah, I understand. And your stomach is gonna you're gonna be fine. You can last a few days without food. Cool. So it looks like there's something over here. It was a hell of a storm last night. Blew over this Blew tree. tree clean over. What a coincidence! Just at the perfect angle for me to walk up here. Now I can continue. Astrid's back. Uh oh, I was not expecting this. Locked. Locked. I don't know the combination. Okay, uh, I wasn't expecting the video.
Jackrabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Morgan. What are you talking about? Okay, so that's us. It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Interesting. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well, what brings you... I mean, are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But no. I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that okay. supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me or not? Interesting. What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. But mm -hmm. it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yeah, seriously, though. Yes. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about... Sorry. That was a little harsh, but hard. Jesus. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it, too? Are you going to take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not... Just help her. In the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Hell yeah. Okay, so that's how the game started. Whatever's in this case, Aspen was ready to die for. So can I not? I can't do anything with her pack. That's ridiculous. Alright. Go ahead and grab that. Oh, heck yeah. Clothing is armor against cold. Sounds pretty logical. On the wilderness, clothing is like armor against the elements. Wear layers to stay warm, and remember, wind is your enemy. Clothing offers different protection from cold and wind chill. Your clothes can get wet from blowing snow. This is true. Keep your clothes as dry as you can. I still can't take those yet. I got some meat. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Uh, let's harvest as much as I can. Yeah, let's go. Can take me an hour and 45 minutes. Screw it. Alright. Uh oh. I have a smell meter. 
When starving, you may feel desperate enough to take your chances, but in general, eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cook it over a fire to avoid getting food poisoning or parasites. Cooked meat also lasts longer and attracts fewer predators. <sighs> Am I wearing my coat? Clothing. No, it did not. It did not put it on. Freaking hell. I wish it automatically would. I'm so cold and warming up again. Oh god, that's not good. <laughs> I'm going. I'm a going. It's okay, our fire should still be going. We have not been gone that long. Now I can add a f wood to it. Now grab this. Cook. So we have a 79% chance of success. Seems pretty good chance to me. I don't know if it succeeded. Yes, it did. Look at that. Let's see if we can do it two more times. Can we do it four times in a row? Uh, one more. It is noon. And boom. Sweet. Now we hit back. This. Go to the food. Boom. Alright, let's get another one. There we go. Drink some water. That will drink until it fills up. There we go. I hit J for journal. And eat until you're full. There it is. This should fill me up. Oh, that didn't fill me up. Screw that. Uh... Can I eat these berries? No. Bullsh- Ugh. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I am full now. Okay. If I hit J, eat until you're full. Alright. Okay, I'm full. You need food to survive. Scavenge what you can. And eat until... Okay, is there still more to scavenge then? Is that what that's telling me? Uh... I mean, I guess I'll... I guess I'll go up the log. Sorry, there's no jumping in this game. Because spacebar is the radial menu. Which is fine, I don't really care. It's kind of nice, actually. Uh, it's weird not having a jump, but that, you know, it's not terrible. Nothing to harvest. I kind of want to go that way, but I won't be able to get back because I can't jump. So, at least I can't jump yet. And I still can't harvest that. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to do something with the backpack. Uh... You know? Uh... Hmm. Let me... Let me check on that real quick. Cause... Uh... I mean, I guess I'll look around. Just make sure I'm not missing anything. Nothing up here. Uh, I can't get onto the tree. Okay, uh, I ate until I was full. I'll try one more thing. I will eat until I'm full, and then I will drink until I'm full. 
So eat and then drink. It always takes the same amount of time. It's ridiculous. Still, all right. Um, oh, that's, oh my God. Oh my God. That's checked, meaning I don't have to do it. See if you're strong enough to climb out of the ravine. Explore the ravine. Ugh. I've just been sitting here wasting my gosh goddamn time. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> right. Uh fuck it. I'm leaving that in. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I did. I figured it out. Nope. Guess I'm not strong enough. Neat. Rose hips. Sometimes my manager's a pharmacist. Craft rose hips into a preparation that can fit. They can be boiled in water to produce a tea with pain relieving properties. May as well rest up. No telling what tomorrow will bring. And what? I wasn't even in the camp. Oh my god. Please. You feel stronger today. I think I can climb out of here now. <sighs> As you learn things about the wild world, either through your own actions or through interacting with people, you unlock knowledge about people, places, things, and actions. Deeper knowledge can be re revealed when you gain the trust of other survivors you meet. This knowledge is tracked in your journal for future reference. That is exciting is my can I really what uh, my leg hurts no afflictions all right I'll take it let's grab these rose nips rose hips yeah rose hips because they might be useful I'm feeling better today. I broke my ankle yesterday, but today I feel like I can climb out of this canyon. Wait. What? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, bro. I don't. Yeah, sure. Only one way to go. Up. Sure, let's do it again. Yeah. Super easy that time. Damn. Made it look easy. Let's go. Uh, this way. We're gonna gather as much stuff as we can. Cause I don't know how much of this stuff it takes to make the tea. And I feel like pain relieving tea would come in very useful. So, oh, another rock climb. Look at that. Yeah, I bet you didn't. It's the exact same one. They just use the same wall. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, hopefully we can find Astrid. I think she's dead. Getting near the top. I don't know if they would kill her, but I think she's dead. Oh boy. I was gonna make it, possibly make it until uh, day seven. Finally made it. You know, see how well it splits up. Maybe do that as one part. I don't wanna do too long. What are we running at? 30 minutes? And I'll tell you how much time I've cut out of this video. If we're not at 30 minutes right now. <coughs> Alright. I really like this art style. This game is... There's not a large amount of detail, but... Uh, it's a pretty game. I see you're still wearing it. Huh? Wearing what? Your ring. Our ring. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh, they were married. All right. I just forgot to take it off. I wear mine too. Why? Memories, I guess. I thought you wanted to forget. Not all of it. Look. I, I should have looked for you. It's okay. I've kept busy. I've moved on. You sure? Yeah, I doubt that. Because this all seems pretty familiar. You still working with that researcher, doctor? What's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That Interesting. Legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? Uh, I'm not here to fight, really. Sure sounds like it. I think about him all the time, you know? I know you do. But they lost a but kid. Okay. The power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Sweet. Well, I wonder how far away we were. I wonder how far away we were from where we were heading. There must be signs of Astrid around here somewhere. Let's find out. Alright, well. I guess that'll do it for... Title signal the end of this episode, I guess. The nice uh, achievement that I just unlocked, evidently. Hold on. Let's see what it was. The Long Dark. 15 gamer score. Your journey begins. Nice. I sort of wish it would pop up on the screen, but that'll do it for the first episode of the, my Long Dark Let's Play. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to subscribe so you can be updated when I release more videos. And if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. And I'll catch you next time.